Well, the angle-angle similarity postulate leads us to a couple of similarity theorems, and that being the side-side-side theorem, similarity theorem, and the side-angle-side similarity theorem. And we're going to look at a couple of examples here for both of those, which corresponds to page 480, example 2, in our textbook. And so the one here on the left, we're going to be evaluating this side, side, side. Now, if all the sides are proportional, if all the, and I'm going to say it specifically, if all the congruent corresponding sides, if all the corresponding sides are proportional, then we have side, side, side similarity. Now, order is important. And so the order in which we look at things and consider those uh, is definitely important. So I'm looking at these two triangles here. Let's say, uh, well, we'll do it like this. I'm seeing that angle L here is opposite this side that's 16. And that's the largest side length of that triangle and angle M is opposite 12 here. That's the largest side length that I'm given for this triangle. And angle J is opposite the shortest side length and angle Q is opposite the shortest side length over here. So we're going to consider then is triangle J, L, K, is it similar to triangle Q, M, P? All right, let's go. All right, so let's see. If we look at side JL, so JL and to check the proportion of that to QM. And I wrote F, that should be L, JL. Okay, so JL is 12, and QM is 9. Let's see, both of those are divisible by 3, so that's 4 over 3. Okay, well, all right, there we go. Let's, see, let's look now at LK to MP. So let's check LK to MP. And LK is 8, and MP is 6. Both of those are divisible by 2. Again, that's 4 over 3. Well, then let's do one last check. Let's do what about KJ to PQ? And KJ is 16, and PQ is 12, and both of those are divisible by 4, so 4 going to 16 4 times, 4 going to 12 3 times, and yes, we can say that triangle J -A -J -L -K is similar to triangle QMP by the side-side-side theorem. All right, so much fun. All right, well, then let's look at this second set of triangles here. Now, now if I look here, angle W and angle W right here, or maybe I should say well, we'll just define them as angle W. Well, those are going to be congruent because they are vertical angles and then so I've got two sides and, and, and an included angle here to consider so again let's see how we want to set this up uh, let's see side T is opposite 
the largest and side y here is opposite the largest. So let's then try to determine is triangle T W Z is that congruent to or similar to similar to similar to triangle Y W X and I just got to evaluate the two sides because I got an included angle here. So let's see, TW is T, what's the proportion of TW to YW? Well, let's see, 10, TW is 10, YW is 20. And that easily, we can easily see that's one half. And how about WZ to WX? W Z to W X and W Z is 11 and W X is 22 and that proportion is also one half. So yes, that we can say that these are similar. Yes, they're similar by the side angle side theorem. Order is important. Determine how, in which order you're going to view things to test similarity, either using angle-angle, the angle-angle similarity postulate, or the side-side-side similarity theorem, or the side-angle-side similarity theorem. Hot dog, this is just so much fun.